Time to try 11 different Tim Tams. Uh, if you're not familiar with Tim Tams, they are, they are these delightful Australian uh, uh, chocolate biscuits. Um, they're very tasty, but I haven't had a whole lot of them outside of the original, so uh, I'm curious to see how they stack up. Here we got the classic original Tim Tam. Now, I know the Tim Tam Slam is popular. Let me try doing a Tim Tam Slam. Or essentially, you take a bite of both ends and you like drink through it. And what happens is the milk goes through like a straw and becomes all kind of mushy and delicious. It's really good, actually. So I'm gonna give the original Tim Tam an A. I think it's a very tasty, solid cookie. It's crunchy, it's got a nice rich chocolate filling and outside, it's tasty. But let's see how these other flavors stack up. Chalk mint. Okay. The filling is white. They're good. Um, if you've had like thin mints, stronger mint flavor, it's not too overwhelming. But it's like a stronger mint, almost more like a junior mint, or like a those peppermint patty, like New York peppermint patties, whatever they're called. It's like that level of mint flavor encased in the chocolate biscuit. It's also good, A tier. Again, I, I'm not gonna like most of these. Sunshine Coast strawberries and cream, which sounds delightful. I mean, this one's also quite good. The strawberry tastes like, um, if you ever had strawberry pocky, or strawberry, like, Asian strawberry snacks. Is that same strawberry cream? You know, it's sweet, slightly tangy inside there. I kind of wish, because the chocolate kind of overwhelms it a little bit, I think. But it goes, it, it, it tastes good. It's still an A tier. Um, but I think that if this had maybe been like maybe a, a white chocolate or like a vanilla cream, I think it would have gone even better. And that might have elevated it to an S tier. But as it is, not bad. Uh, still an A tier. Still. Very tasty. I genuinely would not be surprised if this entire video just be going, Mmm, Tim Tam's good. Here we have Tim Tam's The Dark. Not as sweet as the milk chocolate originals. Um, these ones are slightly, a slightly bitter, but not too crazy bitter. I was expecting more bitter, uh, to be honest. Because they're they're more subtle flavor, they kind of make you taste the cookie or notice the cookie crunch more. It's good. Uh, is it better? I'd say it's about. Let's say this is like an A minus. Uh, like it's still good. I actually think I like the sweeter ones, and usually I go for the dark chocolate over a regular chocolate. But I think with Tim Tams, it's like eh, I kind of want that decadence, and this is still it's, it's still it's about mature, but I don't know. Gisborne, 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 <laughs> orange and dark chalk. Okay. I don't hate orange flavor in like cookies and stuff. Um, that can be a little, a little cloying, a little artificial tasting. Um, this one, I feel like the orange is really front and center. You barely taste like the chocolate. I feel like. Um, and because it's the dark chocolate, it's more subtle, so it's even more unnoticeable. So it's mainly like that orange, like very, like, it's very sweet. It, I kind of wish there was like maybe like a tangier edge to it, but it's like orange, kind of like frosting-y flavor. Um, still perfectly edible, but I'm gonna, this is gonna be a B tier for me. I think this is the worst one so far. All right, let's try the double coat. Ooh, this thick ass Tim Tam. Those are good, but very decadent. Like, the double coat is so thick, it's like, you can really feel the layers of that chocolate, cr like, uh, covering, like, it's so thick, like, it's very present. So it's very rich, it's very sweet, very creamy. I think it tastes very good. I don't know if I could eat this that many of them in a sitting, though. Like because it's so decadent. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Like maybe you just want like a couple Tim Tams, like one or two. But I do think it would be easy to get sick of them despite how good they taste. So I think this one's gonna be also an A minus tier, but again, still pretty good. These are still overall pretty positive. It's kinda nice, kinda nice not hating the food. All right, here's white Tim Tams. 
I might be used to have, like American white chocolate. American white chocolate is very sweet, which I actually kind of, I actually kind of like. And this is not that sweet. Um, it really reminds me of the flavor of cake, not frosting, but the cake itself. It's kind of like a mild, you know, vanilla, almost doughy kind of flavor. Um, it's not bad. It's not bad. Um, it would be my first choice. I think I actually, for once in my life, prefer the white or the regular chocolate over the white chocolate. B plus tier? Yeah, it's it's not bad. I get it perfectly, perfectly good tasting, but not as good as the other content. Tim Tim, it's pretty pretty high scale of, of quality. Monica honey and cream. These are good. Maybe the sweetest one so far. There is a honey flavor. And I don't know if it's the cream kind of like over, like kind of muting it. I, I like honey. And I, there's like a funkiness to honey that I enjoy with actual honey. And I think it, this one is kind of is kind of muted by maybe the chocolate, maybe the cream. Like I wanted more honey. And the, the problem is with, you know, with Tim Tams, you know, they're all covered in chocolate. So it's going to mute the flavors inside of them. So then it becomes a matter of, does it still go well together? I think they, I think it does, but I think it kind of makes you go, kind of wish it just tasted like honey instead of just chocolate. Like it's like two big sweetnesses fighting for your attention. And then as a result, they're both like kind of left at the wayside. Still B plus, but I think it could have been great. Murray River Salted Caramel. Now this tends to be my favorite kind of flavor. So we'll see. This is a testament because I'm getting a little sick of Tim Tams, and yet this is this is great. It's fantastic. S tier, easily S tier. It has salted caramel. What what can I say? Like it's got that 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 really rich, luscious, creamy, tangy caramel inside, but then it's got salt crystals, so there's a little bit of crunch. The salt, salt and sweet. You know, it just enhances the sweetness. So you got that salt, the crunch, the the decadence of a Tim Tam with the caramel and the salt. Whew! It's beautiful. It's a beautiful combination. This is, if you can get one Tim Tam, it's these. Although, let's try chewy caramel. Let's see if this compares. These are really good, but not as good. I still think this is A plus tier. A plus. Like, it's like a Twix, like, but with really thick, chewy caramel. And the chewiness is the key here. That texture of just that rich, chewy, you know, you're eating, enjoying that caramel. It's chewy with the crunch. I think what a Twix has over this is, I think having the cookie be like mild and kind of vanilla, or as opposed to like everything's chocolate. Again, the chocolate kind of gets in the way, but you still have that great cookie crunch, chocolate mixed with the chewiness of the caramel. And so it all comes together in this crunchy, chewy, delicious mess in your mouth um still really tasty and uh definitely caramel i love caramel i think it's clear and this is also a great choice our final is dark chalk chili okay definitely the strangest one um i don't hate it it's like um uh, it's dark chocolate so again more so this is the most bitter one which is a good thing, I think, in my book. It makes it different. It's not very sweet at all, actually. As you bite, as you crunch into it and chew it, there is a, a chili, hot chili sort of uh, backburn. I kind of wish the chilies had more full front flavor because I do think chilies kind of have like a natural sweetness, a natural, even savoriness or something that I think would make it maybe be an interesting combination. This is just more like, yeah, it's dark chocolate, but it makes your throat spicy. But that's kind of it. Um, not unpleasant, but I mean, the, I'm impressed because the the sort of burn. It's a very mild burn, but it's still there. It, it lasts a bit, so that's impressive. I don't think American snacks would in, like allow this much heat level or heat not level but heat length in a cookie. Like a B minus. Like I would not go out of my way to get this one again. I don't think the dark chocolate tastes good enough on its own. The chili, all it adds is a heat. And that's it. it. If it added more chili flavor, I think this would have been a pretty cool idea. As it is, it's kind of just very 
whatever. It tastes whatever. And then I just have like a spicy, slightly spicy throat. And that's it. That was Tim Tams. Uh, my favorite ones, Murray River Salted Caramel. Chewy Caramel as well. Yeah, they're both great. And my least favorite are definitely the Dark Shock Chili, but... They tried, which I appreciate. Again, overall, a solid, a solid bunch. You guys down under have a good uh, cookie selection. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.